Hey, what's up everyone? Charles here. Planet scale removed the year free or hobby tire in most locations. And as you can see right here, it's unavailable in my location. So this is a bad news for me and uh, those who are following my course, full stack hotel booking web app course, because in this course, I made use of planet scale. And some of you are already having issues because now they have to pay for planet scale for them to follow this course. But do you have to? Uh, the answer is no, you don't have to pay for planet scale because there are many other alternatives which you can work with. So first of all, you can set up my SQL database locally. Uh, you can also use Postgres SQL database. You can even use MongoDB database, especially if you know what you are doing because MongoDB is not an SQL based database. Therefore, some things might not be well compatible while working with MongoDB. So I recommend going with an SQL based database. And that is why I am creating this video to give you an alternative which you can use instead of planet scale. So I even asked you guys which database you are using instead of planet scale. And most of you already recommended Neon database. I checked out Neon and I can assure you it's a good alternative instead of making use of planet scale. And as you can see right here, Neon is free of charge. You don't have to pay anything and you'll get a Postgres SQL uh, database for free. So all you need to do is to create an account. You can create an account with GitHub or Google. And once you log in, the first thing that you'll be told is to create a project. And right here, you can select a version for Postgres SQL, I'll go with the default. Here you can give your project a name. So I'll say the savvy. And right here, you can give the database a name. Uh, I can just go with the default and I'll just click on create. Once you create the project, you will immediately get a connection string to this particular uh, database. So all you need to do is to copy that connection string. You can click on this copy right here. Then you'll jump in your .env file in your project and replace this particular uh, connection string with that of Postgres. So what I can do right here, I can just duplicate mine and I replace this right here with Postgres SQL. And I go ahead and save that file. And now when I come back and I say, I'll do later. You'll see here we have the guides to connect that Postgres SQL to a Next.js application, to a Node.js application, or to make use of Prisma. Now, in my course, we are using Prisma. So just click on Prisma here, and you'll see instructions on how to set up everything. The first thing is to set up this at your .env file, which we have already done. And then the other thing is to uh, say that the provider is Postgres SQL. So all you need to do is to copy these and then in your schema.prisma, all you need to do is to add this line right here. And as you can see, now it's colliding with this one. So I can just comment out that one. And you already now have Postgres SQL set up right here, uh, which is cool. And right here, I can add this relationship mode just right here and uh, okay some things are already crashing so you can see a native type long text is not supported for postgres sql connector so all you need to do is to just remove these okay just remove that and also remove this remove this and once we do that you can see all the errors are gone and you are ready to proceed with Postgres SQL. So Prisma makes it very easy for us to switch between the databases. And uh, that is all we need to do to switch from my SQL to Postgres SQL and also to switch from planet scale to neon. So thanks for all those who suggested neon. Uh, I like it. If you like my courses, also make sure to support me, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.